from each other. Um, shall I say hello? Yes, go for it. Hi, folks. And um, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Tahira, and I specialize um, in like green beauty and clean beauty and all that kind of stuff. Hi, and I'm Karen, and I write a blog, M for Mummy, and do Instagram, and I talk all about um, trying to live a sustainable life. I know. Look, all we can do <laughs> is try. Yes. <laughs> so we're here to talk about makeup today. Yes. Because uh, easy, quick makeup for yep. like a morning, maybe the school run. Mm -hmm. Go you for know. it. Okay, so my first tip is mix a bunch of products on your skin. Mm -hmm. It's just going to go faster and easier. So I always use, this is one of my favorite combinations. So I use these either on their own. So this is the Dr. Hashka um, Regenerating Cream. So it's got like some lovely skincare elements to it. But it's got a the tiniest bit of pigment that corrects and also kind of has a bit of like radiance or glow to it. This from Balance Me Beauty, I've been using this for years. So this is like a primer BB cream. So it's got a tiny bit of pigment for correction, a bit of like smoothing, plum like plumping is not the right word, but smoothing, blurring effect, I suppose. And then most importantly, your sun protection, which especially at this time of year becomes really crucial. So mm -hmm. as long as it's in your skincare or your makeup, you're going to be protecting your skin from like the damaging effects of the sun. Yes for an additional layer of coverage. So if you're happy with your skin with these two items on them, great. Mm -hmm. But for the tiny bit of extra coverage, you've got a bit of natural redness that you like to cover. Yes. So you can put in a like a little half pump of your favorite foundation or tinted moisturizer. So this is a new one by Burt's Bees that I've been trying. It kind of dries or sets to like a matte or a semi-matte. So it's perfect to go with these kind of radiance products. So we're just gonna mix it all together. Okay. So fingers out. So the little, like the tiniest little quarter pump. You know. It's like a quarter pump of this, like literally just a little tiniest bit. And then you're just going to mix them together and apply the whole thing like moisturizer. And if you want a bit of extra coverage, just tap around your nose and tap around your eyes with whatever's left. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. There we go. Is that good? That's perfect. Great. See, how long did that take? Like 10 <laughs> seconds? Yes. Perfect. So then um, concealer. If you have any dark circles or maybe any spots or anything, you can choose your favorite concealer. Um, there's all sorts of options in Clean Beauty. There's pots, there's liquids, there's creams. Um, I like this corrector by Absolution. Um, it's got a bit of an apricot tint to it. So actually, we're going to do this. I'm going to give you, again, the tiniest amount. A little goes a long way. Grand. Do you love our like technical situation here? All right. Then next on your skin, mm -hmm. I love a little bit of glow. Yeah. And I just think that it just always lifts your skin a bit, especially if you're feeling a bit drab and dull, if you're not getting off sleep, you're not eating well. So this is another new kind of the easiest thing ever. Two stripes up at the top of your cheekbones and okay. blend it out. Boom. Um, right. Eyebrows. Oh, Eyebrows yeah. are key. So I think for a lot of people, if you're not very kind of um, used to doing it, a pencil is the easiest way forward. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you this little mirror to use. And then you're just going to follow your natural eyebrow line. This is a... Perfect. This is a Lily Lolo pencil, which is a really good blonde color. That's it. Perfect. Other side. There you go. Yeah, that's lovely. Now come into this corner a tiny bit so that you just, a little bit, perfect, stop, excellent. Do you want to try the highlighter side? Yes, please. So just do, and then just like right under your brow, just on the outside. Yeah? Yeah. Because we can blend it out after, perfect. And that adds just a little lift. So if you just use oh, wow. your finger to blend that out, just super gently. Oh, I like. Oh, super. Yes. So with natural makeup, but also with makeup in general, like this is from my background in like doing weddings back in the day when I started, I always found that like light thin layers helps makeup last longer. So I always use a cream blush before I use a real blush. Caveat, 
with this skin that I used, sometimes I would powder it, but I think for like, if you're just going out for your day or whatever, there's enough products here that will make it last. Okay. But if you have particularly like oily or oil rich skin or you get quite shiny, you could just do a really light dusting of loose powder over that without a problem. Okay. And then you can still layer these creams over that light powder. We haven't powdered, but we will in a minute. So this, you can either take it and stick it on your face easily. Um, but because this is uh, my personal one that I've used because I love it, um, it's an Ilia multi-stick. You're going to take your finger, put a little bit in, boom, boom, boom. Off you go. Okay. Like this? Yeah. Right on the apples of the cheeks. So try to concentrate it here because this is where you would get the most color. And then go down a little there. Perfect. Other side. Not too close. blend it out and it's just that little hint oh, yeah. of flush and then to blend it out we are going to use so this is an interesting brand they're from Denmark and they do that paper packaging that's very you know eco-friendly and so on and so forth so it's not necessarily always ideal maybe to carry with you but this is perfect yeah. for your makeup table yeah. so this is also a Louise Young brush which I love and we're just gonna go over what we did you take off take on a little bit of color and then you're gonna go right where you already were. So I'm gonna let you do that. So like here? Yeah, right on top where you were. So this is the next key for eyes, lash curling. Okay. When you lift that eyelash with a lash curler, right away you're making your eyes look more open, more awake. So. Mm -hmm. Lash curler, mirror. Now I'm not very good at this, so let's try. So you're crimping at the base of your eyelash. You apply slow pressure and squeeze until you can't squeeze anymore. And then you loosen and walk halfway out and do it again. Ta-da. Other eye. Perfect. Done. Now I love this Zao mascara because it's a bit thickening and also you can replace just the glass tube, it's refillable. Mm -hmm. So you grab that and then always start at the base and zigzag out. Like that? Yep. So if you make any mistakes, it's always good to have a couple cotton buds, paper centered please, to hand. Um, oh yeah, that totally gets rid of that. Yeah, just to, in case you, you know, have any mistakes. And as you practice, the more you do this, the faster you'll get at it and the less mistakes you make. Exactly. But mistakes happen. Readily available, very affordable brand. It's at loads of your kind of um, major natural food stores. A lot of local natural food stores carry this brand. So there you go. Done. Done. Quick and easy, lovely skin, glowy makeup. I hope you like that. Yeah, and it's brilliant. Ma maybe Thank Karen you. will invite me back and we can talk about some more stuff. Yeah, yeah. If you want to let us know of anything you want to learn, then. I can always ask to hear her. Absolutely. We're going to try and link as many products as we can below, yep. but please do get in touch with either me or Karen if you have any questions at all. Fact. Have a Thank great you. day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.